Good afternoon once again. Today is Friday, May the 29th, uh, 2020, with, uh, beginning with two very important uh, developments and news. The first is the result of the CCSA meeting this morning that the Prime Minister chaired. The second is a piece of information regarding the development of uh, certain measures, uh, particularly for non-Thai persons uh, with work permits. So on the first issue this morning, there was the CCSA uh, meeting. We have some images of the meeting on screen now. The Prime Minister chaired this meeting uh, with the participation of various agencies involved. There was also the discussion about the extension of the emergency decree, as well as the measures that, in, in the general picture, uh, to be um, more relaxed uh, for more efficiency as well as more unity in terms of the measures. So hoping that all the various sectors involved will understand uh, the rationale of all these measures. And if the situation in the third phase uh, is satisfactory, the fourth phase, during the fourth phase, it will be possible to end the emergency decree in due course. The Prime Minister also heard a report about the developments of the vaccine uh, development for COVID in which Thailand is now conducting tests on animals and it is, it is uh, forecasted that around 6 to 12 months from now uh, will be the result that we will see in terms of the COVID vaccine. The Prime Minister also highlighted the importance of the success uh, that will only come with the cooperation of the people, of the local communities. However, the situation uh, still, uh, we still have to be cautious about the situation and prepare. In terms of the third phase measures, various uh, economic and business establishments uh, will be uh, allowed to open, including those that are important to maintaining the everyday life. For example, the opening uh, of shopping malls in, in all, all the different stores within the shopping malls, the exhibit halls, the community malls, uh, all of these to be uh, open until 9 p.m. or 2100 hours. Uh, uh, development centers for small children, uh, particularly to prepare food for the children to be sent uh, home. Uh, also beauty uh, parlors. Uh, also uh, barbers for not only for not over two hours per per customer and with no one waiting inside the uh, establishments also to be open during the third phase are exercise facilities those uh, including uh, for health and for entertainment such as uh, beauty clinics uh, spas uh, massage centers uh, areas for exercise and training fitness centers, cinemas, swimming pools, and water activities, including also cultural and historical sites. So in summary, uh, the various measures in place uh, would still be in place throughout the country in terms of uh, the, the general picture, but the curfew itself will be shortened to only four hours during the third phase, meaning it, it, it will start at 2,300 hours and end at 3.00 hours. So from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m., only four hours of curfew for the third phase. The interprovincial uh, travel will be allowed and there will be, of course, uh, checkpoints for different provinces. And of course, as mentioned, uh, malls, community malls will open not over to, and to close at 9, 9 p.m. So this is quite uh, good news. To summarize, first, of course, uh, this was the result of the CCSA meeting. It would still, of course, have to pass through the necessary procedures and be published in the Royal Gazette for this to be effective on the 1st of June. This is the general principle, the general foundation of the relaxed measures uh, from the central government. Each province would take this uh, uh, as a general guideline but then each province around the country will take precedence when they have these, their own specific uh, local measures as well, which of course would be tighter than the general national guidelines. So again, just in summary, third phase, 1st of June, we have to wait until it's 
official, officially published in the Royal Gazette. Uh, in summary, reduce curfew hours from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Some businesses classified as medium to high risk are allowed to open uh, and closing at 9 p.m. Interprovincial travel allowed. There will be, still be checkpoints, but less checkpoints, except provinces that are deemed with high risk areas, and including uh, provinces in southern uh, Thailand with certain specific measures. And of course, uh, commercial international travel by any transport uh, means is uh, not, still, still not allowed. So that's the summary of the CCSA meeting. Now, moving on to the development in terms of the entry of non-Thai nationals, uh, specifically those who have uh, work permits. Uh, first of all, as I mentioned quite often during the briefings, that right now the priority of Thailand is, of course, to repatriate our own nationals, as is with the policy of many countries, and many thousands of nationals still remain during the repatriation flights. We recap this to you quite often every day. However, I also mentioned to you about the development and the discussions that were still, that were going on from time to time uh, within the CSA and within the government in eventually relaxing the measures. So there is a, an issue concerning non-Thai nationals who have work permits or who have been granted permission from agencies to work in the Kingdom, kingdom of Thailand. So in the invocation of the emergency decree to control the outbreak of COVID, we have closed entry at the beginning into the kingdom for non-Thai nationals in accordance with the laws on communicable disease and immigration. However, clause three, parentheses five of the regulation issued under the emergency decree also allows non-Thai nationals who enter, who either, who either possess a valid work permit or have already been granted permission from a Thai government agency to work in the kingdom to apply for, for permission to enter the kingdom. It is, however, requested that those, uh, only those who have the urgent need to enter, enter the kingdom right now may submit an application for entry. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in, co in consultation with the Board of Investment and Labor Ministry, will consider all requests for entry on a case-by-case -case basis. Taking into account the urgency and economic importance, among others, there is a procedure for those with, already with work permits, already been granted permission, but stranded outside Thailand. The procedure, contact the Thai embassies or consulate generals in the country of departure to apply for the certificate of entry into the kingdom at least 10 working days before the date of intended departure. The applicants must present the copy of work permits, copy of permission letter by Thai government agencies, most cases by the labor ministry to work in Thailand. Second, present a valid health insurance policy covering expenditures, including for COVID, at least 100,000 US dollars insurance. The embassies will forward this application to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. If approved, uh, the embassies will be instructed to issue a certificate of entry and appropriate visa for the applicant. At the port of, at the port of departure and embarkation, it is required that these individuals are to present the, the certificate of entry issued by the embassy, the completed declaration form issued by the embassy, the fit to fly health certificate, the health insurance uh, covering all expenditures. And upon entry, non-Thai nationals will be subjected to a 14-day state quarantine at a government designated ASQ or alternative state quarantine facility at their own expense and they are obliged to comply with the preventive measures. So as, just to recap again, this is actually one good development. Uh, we understand that it is not for all groups of non-Thai nationals. It is for one group of, of non-Thai nationals, those with work permits. We understand that this does not include every group yet, but this is one good development for one, one group of, of, of foreign nationals. And as mentioned, we are going uh, incrementally, step by step. So please understand the measures that we have to take. And as promised, of course, I mentioned that it is under discussion. Uh, so this discussion has been finalized and this is the uh, result. And as I have uh, announced and read from this uh, information, this information was actually sent to the various foreign embassies uh, in Thailand 
as well as all the foreign chambers of commerce in Thailand. In due course, we will have other developments uh, to be inclusive and uh, cover every group of non-Thai persons uh, needing to return back to Thailand as we ease the various measures as we move into the third and fourth phase. Also, one piece of information I have is that His Excellency the Prime Minister, Prayut Chan o Cha, participated in an international event by teleconference, the UN high-level event on financing for development in the era of COVID and beyond. This was co-convened by Canada and Jamaica uh, and the United Nations. This happened via video conference last night, the 28th of May, wherein the Prime Minister stressed the importance of international solidarity in times of COVID uh, to achieve global health security and economic recovery. He mentioned the new normal practices and affirmed Thailand's readiness in cooperating with the international community in building back better for a sustainable future. So moving on to the general situation that we have for today, 11 confirmed cases, all have entered the state quarantine pro process. All 11 have returned from a repatriation flight from Kuwait. The first and second of the 11 are Thai males, uh, construction, working in the construction industry, returning on the same flight uh, as the repatriation from yesterday, and they are in state quarantine uh, already, uh, and they were asymptomatic. The third to the 11th case of this uh, total 11 are eight Thai males uh, employed and, and also a, one Thai female in the spa industry and returned to Thailand. They went to state quarantine in Samut Prakan province and were basically asymptomatic as well. So as you can see on screen, we have the numbers for you with no fatalities, 95% of all cases in Thailand have now recovered. Moving on to the compliance part, uh, it's, the number today is around 22,137 sites inspected. And happy to say that um, all estab establishments inspected uh, yesterday have fully complied with the measures. So I hope that all businesses will continue to keep up with the good work. As of yesterday, there were a number of establishments who also uh, showed very uh, good measures, as you can see on screen. Uh, here's a noodle shop practicing social distancing on screen. And we also have another image, I believe, of a department store that, uh, yes, it's very good for businesses to uh, comply with the measures and learn as we go along that these are very important measures. Yes, so moving on to the Thai China uh, application, as mentioned uh, yesterday, uh, the platform in which you only take the QR code picture, uh, or the application, uh, which is more uh, a better improved uh, user experience, you can use both uh, over, over this weekend. Uh, these are very useful in checking in and checking out. Uh, we encourage you to use either the platform or the application. And on screen, we have the numbers as usual on the accumulated use of the platform. Moving on to various images uh, to highlight the acts of kindness around the country. Of course, uh, this happens across cultures, across borders. As I mentioned, Thais helping foreigners, foreigners helping Thais around the country, around the world. In April and May, we have some images on screen. German, Swiss, and Thais joined their hands to organize food drives for 700 people. And this is in Rewai, in Phuket. The, they gave out life bags uh, so comprising of essential food for those in need and also made a video to sum up their humanitarian project. Uh, the video, uh, thank you, courtesy of Mr. Daniel Wom for the snapshots of the video which is available on social media on YouTube. Another act of kindness, of course, for today, this morning, we had a, a CCSA meeting and then a university, the King Mongkut uh, Institute of Technology, Latkabrang, uh, presented uh, certain innovations to the Prime Minister this morning. The image you have uh, on screen now is, was of yesterday, 
We're in Professor Dr. Suchatwi Suwansawat, the president of the King Mongkut Institute of Technology, Lakabang, welcomed Mr. Mohamed Jina, the ambassador of the Maldives, and presented a donation of a mini emergency ventilation machine for use in the Maldives, as well as presented the possible use of the negative and positive pressure rooms technology for swab tests. So this is one of the international cooperation that Thai universities, uh, this one in particular, has with foreign countries during this uh, trying times of the, the trying times of COVID. So this is basically what I have uh, for you uh, today. The most important message today is the result of the CCSA, CCSA meeting, the upcoming third phase, the various measures, opening up more, less curfew, but of course our guard must remain. The second important message is, of course, the development on the measures to be announced for incoming entry of the possible entry of the non-Thai nationals with work permits. But I have to remind you that this is, of course, the registration process with the embassy for foreign nationals with work permits in preparation for return to Thailand, pending, of course, the flight uh, availability. At least, of course, one development after another. We hope to have other developments. We hope to make things happen, make life easier and return to normal for everybody in Thailand, Thais and non-Thais who call Thailand home. So please bear with us. Please understand that we are trying our best. To end today's briefing, just to say that, of course, it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. As mentioned earlier, the English language summary will not be on air on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, as with the spokesperson. The spokesperson, as well as myself, will, will return on Monday uh, to recap the events on the weekend. We can recap that on Monday as well. But on the weekend, of course, there will be, still be the briefing in terms of the public health dimension, a briefing from the Ministry of Public Health on the weekends. So. Please remain in terms of social distancing. Please remain to help each other, assist each other, uh, carry on, advise each other. And I hope that you still stay safe and give inspiration to each other and your loved ones. So thank you very much and have a pleasant afternoon. I'll see you on Monday. Sorry,